We're gonna die. We're totally gonna die. Let me catch you up on the current situation. The enemy is centered around the camp they've set up smack in the middle of the combat area. Great! Their squad will begin at this point. High Commander is still calling for an all-out offensive. I have faith in your soldiers' victory. Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. The enemy's Valkyria has thankfully been neutralized by our own. This is a rare opportunity. Let's make the best of it and try to claim some ground. All decisions regarding the Valkyria from here on out will come from the captain or highest ranked officer present. Does that mean me? Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean I get to do it? Hmm. I haven't been showing my streams working though. Somehow. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, let me just. For some reason, it looks. I can't see it. Like, I have the stream on my tablet, but I don't see it. So I'm just really worried if it's even working. So. I have to make sure it's working. Work! 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 Work, 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 work Oh, really? Rosie's already there? What about Largo? Oh, wow. Okay, so all the main characters are there. Okay. Um, Largo and Cherry. Cherry, Cherry, Cherry. Wait, wait, where's Cherry? What happened to Cherry? See? There you go, B, for bringing Cherry out. I know you don't. Okay, never mind. You do not like Cherry. Oh, fine. Okay. Who do you want, B? You are the highest officer present. Who should be in here? Wait, I remember... Who do you like? Just look at the pictures. Okay. Okay, you might like Jane. Fargo's already in it. Walter. Might like Hector. Okay, I'm just going to restart it then. How's the audio and video now? No, Largo's already in it. Like, Rosie, Largo, Largo, and Zaka. This is Zaka. And Largo is mandatory. <coughs> I like Aika. Her hair is pretty symmetrical. I'm gonna have. Hmm, actually, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have. Aika, who does Aika work well with? Vice, Yoko, Dallas. I like Vice too. And who was it? Yoko? Oh, I don't have her there, I guess. And Dallas. Right, right. Dallas is my engineer. I don't want to bring Marina. She's still, like, after Alicia got shot, I'm pretty skeptical of you, Marina. Just saying. So, Cesare. Um, Dallas is a lesbian. Yay! If you didn't know. You, you, you will know later. If... I don't know if it, will, if it will show in this battle, but when um, Dallas is close to Alicia, there's a little scene. Like, ooh, Alicia. <laughs> no, no. And she's a sniper, though, so she's got pretty good eyesight. Um, I'm gonna get another. Who else do you work with? Hmm. Hi, Shade1996. We'll bring Alex. Cause he's a, I want another shock trooper. 
Uh, I might bring another engineer. I don't want to bring Herbert. He's so bad because one of his potentials uh, prevents him from using anything. So. Oh. It's not like official ship. It's just that Dallas, whenever she's around Alicia, she's like, Oh, Alicia. I. I. And with other girls, uh, a potential arises, which is like, like, we'll be in our secret garden. Which reminds me, I need to have more females, because she actually doesn't like guys. Which is kind of a problem, because my shock troopers are, other than Rosie, are all male. So, But I don't actually have a lot of girls. And... Uh, Dallas's potential comes out quickly, especially because she's an engineer, and her main goal that I use engineers with is kind of healing other people. So, uh, yeah, I think that's fine. The majority of my group is all girls, anyways. <clears throat> You'll commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. Yeah, Edai is- I call her Edai because it sounds more female. Squad seven, move out. Okay. I brought a sniper. I don't know if I really need one because I just noticed there's a lot of bunkers. Boss, what's happened to Alicia? I don't know. But that blue flame is the same as that Valkyria's. You don't mean- You say Alicia's Valkyria? Yes. Looks like she's acting unconsciously. Get too close, she might attack us. I'm worried, but we're better off watching for now. In the meantime, we strike their camp. Oh, she's right there. Terrifying because I thought it was cool that Alicia was a Valkyria, but now it's like, oh, she's unconscious, so she's got, she might attack us if we're close. We're great. And I don't even know her range. And she's right in the center. Great. Jesus Christ! And by the way, Beef, the girl with silver hair is Edai. So... Oh my god, these are the cannons. Shit. Wait, why do they have 600 light? Oh no, never mind. I'm really scared because if her range... Like, she can one hit KO tanks if she has the same amount of power as um as Alicia you know what I don't even know if I should even be using my I'm kind of skeptical if I should be using my tank like because Alicia is kind of scared. And I, ha I see no, I cannot foresee myself Let's do this thing. walking across. After me, kiddos. Because she's unconscious. This. 
She lures herself. Like, I can't do anything. She just walks to them and then you just do it. That's whatever. Oh no. Fuck. This sucks. Oh, why didn't I change it? Focus on making smart choices, soldiers. Wait, can I? Oh. Leave it to me. Oh my God, Largo sucks right now. So, oh man, I forgot. Ugh. Whatever, Dallas. Right there. Man, I fucked up because I forgot Largo's um his That's fine. I don't know if Alicia can see Largo. You're a pretty big guy, so. And I don't know if she's like Silvaria in the last battle where she didn't attack anyone if they were in the trenches, so we'll see how that goes. So that was a waste of uh, time. I'm gonna load my file. <coughs> I'm gonna bring more people. Of course, you can't go that way. You say that, but I'm not even allowed any backup whatsoever. Like, what am I supposed to do? Alicia's right there. Okay, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna move a tank again. Like, I moved well good and ready. But let's go. try this. Well, the thing is, I can I can only see as far as mm, uh, my people can see. Fire! See, if I had Largo with the other weapon, it would have been much better. See, I had to save because I don't know if Alicia will strike my tank before other tanks or en the enemies. Okay, I'm gonna bring Jane because she's female and Dallas likes females, so. I could check my map to know where the enemies are, but I thought she, like, I see the shock trooper, but I thought he would be able to shoot it, the shock trooper, but he couldn't. Let's see how this goes. How does she suddenly have questionable health? I should know, she was in my squad. Minor damage sustained. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. I 
you can a tank for us, that'd be so great. Obviously, duh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see if I can end it now. Because I think this battle was meant to be short. But let's see what happens. She's back to normal, yay! Great, she died! Game over, god damn it. Thank God I only moved Ika. What? The fuck is that shit? Enemy Who's the boss? Oh my God! I don't know how much health it is. So what I'm going to do is kill people instead. Enemy sighted. Fire! Hey, it should have been two, one hit. gonna unload that. Why didn't I do this first? These are my fucking snipers. Well, I only have one sniper, but still. First, I have to find their sniper. Kill their sniper first. <gasps> See what you get? Good work. I'm kinda happy I got my sniper out, but it kinda sucks because my cam is 
pretty open. Not really open, but like, there's not a lot of strong people there. No! No! I want RNG by my side! I just realized this is only the second turn. It's not like the first turn, it's just the second turn. Man, I brought way too many people out of the base just to do this. I'm kind of curious, what base am I protecting? See what you get? Target pilot. Head for the next one. Okay, wait a minute. Are you telling me I didn't have an initial base cam first? This is my base cam all of a sudden? Like it's on the other side of the map? Oh, Jesus. When did that change? When did they suddenly establish, yes, we will change our base? Cesare, you OP, set number gun. The thing is, oh my god, the worst thing that I have to do now, I just realized I kind of fucked up the first turn, but whatever. Oh, I mean the second turn, like when after I occupied the base cam. What I should have done was switch out my people, but to my anti tank, but I'm thinking like it wouldn't have mattered because everyone's weapons are all. Um, the weird... <laughs> Boom. Not sure how much damage the Dromadorian whatever thing does. So now I have more people here. You should have more bullets. Okay, good. You say so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love how I'm using all my two turns to just destroy it. And then we have only one more shock trooper left to do. You say so. I, I literally killed every single member of that those reinforcements in one turn. Pretty amazing. But now I think everyone in that t in this group is gonna die. Wait, how'd you miss? start that they said wait let me just check my objectives wait a minute they said two
objectives. Both heavy tanks. Oh shit! Lord, no. There's gonna be two. Way ahead of you. Actually, can you turn around first? Where did they appear? Reinforcements have appeared. Joking? Oh my god. They didn't think maybe this would be a bit silly. Not only did they have to fight two tanks, but there's gonna be a huge shitload of people. I'm sorry, Aika. I'm really depressed right now. Wait, how does the scout walk that far? My scout didn't walk that far. Can I like restart? Oh. And it's just staying there, like, whatever. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So now I have to move my people. I love how I can't, like, they have obviously more than 10 people right now. I can only have 10. Like, that's it. Like, uh, uh. You know, it's just like, oh yeah, you know, oh, this is a pincer attack happening. You are still not allowed to call any more backup. You can only have 10 people in this battle. Oh. Can someone please call bullshit on this world? Look, I, they get the base. It's game over. How was I supposed to know that? You're bullshit.
So again, part three, or take three. Hey, you're not that your own person. Yeah, you're like me. Uh oh. Under light fire. Okay, he's close. This is good. I think. You're in your own range too. Oh my god, this is so weird. <gasps> I can't see him. Let's see what happens. So you attack your own people. Do, do they die? Okay, so now I can't even be in my own base. Didn't you hurt yourself? Yeah, you killed your own people. Holy shit, do you not care? My god! God damn, man. Holy shit. You guys just, like, whatever. I brought my sniper to attack your people, but you just killed them. Oh, what? Okay. Just try and stop me! Just try and stop me! You say that, but you actually hit it! Be proud! One enemy tank neutralized! One to go, sir. Keep it up, everybody. It won't be long now. Really? It feels like forever. All right. Watch that. Yeah. Two hours, guys. I knew it. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. Oh my god, I got a C. I thought I was gonna get a D. Whatever. C's fine. I was getting like a lot of money for this. God damn it. The I know. Nagyar Plains ended in the victory of the Galian forces. Gotta see though. It made military history not only with its ferocity, but with the duel that ended it. Yeah. The Imperial Army then fell to retreat, <coughs> while Galia's grasp on victory tightened. Alicia, are you all right? Woken. I'm... Uh, what happened? I can't remember. What did... I was shot, wasn't I? But here I am, alive and fully healed. And it's like... Everyone looks at me differently now. Like they're scared. Woken, did... Has something happened to me? Tell me, please! Alicia... Report. Parting ways. What?
sir, may I come in? Grease, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Galleon sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Galleon force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Grease. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzett checked out the rifle. What? Baldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle. So the clerk remembered him. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanza and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Baldio. I can't. <coughs> it's kind of obvious. Hey, Faldio, you in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history history as it truly was. We are all taught of the Darkson Calamity, and how their actions forever scorched the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyra invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous Darkson people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyra became godlike saviors. Oh. The victors <coughs> rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyra's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I cannot help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, 
they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly, their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyrie's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. There's no domestic drug problems with the Darkses. The enemy Valkyrie <coughs> decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Baldio! Why would you get angry? Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Valdio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. <laughs> Why would he be mad? I feel like Wal uh, Walkers is just being very emotional. <coughs> I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> so dramatic. Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? Didn't you just read the letter? Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right, but still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer. <coughs> However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Gallian military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. 24 hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. You can thank the army for resorting to Faldio for doing that. Chapter 15, Citadel, Girlandio. Oh god damn it, I hate these battles. No, I just oh wait. Okay, this is perfect. I can actually do some practice, but probably not now. <coughs> Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. The Imperials are currently holed up in the citadel at Girlandio. That sounds really hard to say. Gerlandio. A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times. The pass at Gerlandio had been fortified for ages. The existing structure was rebuilt as a modern fortress during the First European War, and its grounds were littered with the casualties of war. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center, and now it stood as their final stronghold. Of course, they always get the strong parts, so they always are at an advantage. Oh, we're staying. 
What's our strategy for attacking the Citadel, Captain? Hmm. I still haven't received any details on our orders from above yet. Oh, stop your worrying, Barat! I came here myself to give you your orders! General Damon? I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagyar. In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the van of the army. Sir? Here are your orders. There's a supply line running into the Citadel. We're sending a train car loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Flipping rail switches, sir? This while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, you guys are assholes! Challenge for your fearless crew. <coughs> if you succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Barat? You guys are assholes. You guys give us the hardest jobs ever. And I can only bring what? Eight people? God damn it! Damn it. Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Maybe. But it's a mission that somebody still needs to do. Why didn't you give us a main character to talk instead of that for galleon Precisely. officer? As the general said, if we win, the Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. Didn't you just say Nagyar would be our final battle? God damn it! There's too many final battles. <coughs> God damn. Yes. Mama, where are you? Hey! There's a survivor here! It's too late for the mother. Come on, we've got to get the child out. Now! Your Grace. Hmm. That incident grows old and stale. Silvaria, what news have you from the front? Sire, they seek to push our soldiers past the border, and the total of their forces approach those of our own. I see. The advantage now begins to sway towards the other side. It seems the loss at Nagyar has ended our hopes of strolling through the gates of Rondkreis. The fault lies with me. This would be over had I but won at Nagyar. Your Grace, grant me another chance, I beg you. Please allow me. To fight for your glory, sire. Please, no, don't. <laughs> Please, she's so annoying. No, she's too hard. Hurts. Dear Silvari, do you truly wish to be of help? Yes, more than anything. From the time you saved me, Your Grace, I've known that I love you more than I do my own life. Sire, I want to work in the service of your dreams. Very well. So, Silvaria, you report that the strength of our opponent now matches our own. In that case, let the fire of destruction rain down upon them. Use the final flame of the Valkyria. <gasps> but... Hey, you said you love him more than your own life. Your grace. The hour of your death shall mark the inauguration of our rule. Farewell, Silvaria. Hey, this is why he asked you that question, okay? <coughs> what if these people get so sad? It's like, what do you expect? Like, Vulcan's got mad that Faldio tried to help the army and help the country win the war? I can't say I'm impressed, your grace. 
Making a lady cry. That's the boy's asking, I'll do anything for you to for your dreams. And he's like, you will die to you'll sacrifice your life to save to let us win. And she's like, oh it's like God damn it! This <coughs> is simply one of a number of scenarios we'd planned for since before Nagia. If her prowess as a Valkyria is insufficient, Selvaria's uses quickly narrow to one alone. <laughs> anyway. There's a messenger here for you, straight from Castle Randgreens. So there is. Let him wait. I have no time for simple messengers now. We are set to commence Operation Steel Side. Jaeger, prepare to return back east. What? Then it's... the Marmota's finished? It is. Word has come that it has completed its trial run. The Galleons are hasty to assume victory. We shall see them gutted yet. I'm sorry. Is everybody here? No. Still no Alicia, boss. Right. Well, let's start. I don't think you should start without they your vice captain. Another squad. We're prepping some tracks for a bomb. That's right. It's a rough one, but this is a critical mission. Ah, uh, this is the militia. We're used to getting all the bomb missions by now. With that settled, there's one question I gotta ask you, boss. Alicia's Valkyria powers and all. You plan to use those this time, too? No, Largo, of course I don't. I have faith in your natural abilities. Who needs Valkyra when I've got you all? Good answer. I'd expect no less from you, boss. We're ready for anything out there. After all, this could very well be it. Yeah, we're fine. You go be with Alicia, boss. She needs you real bad right now. I don't know why people are thinking Valkyrias are bad. Right. You all know what you're doing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Falio should understand why and Vulcan too, but everyone else thinks Valkyrias are me? evil. This is a tough one, even for Major Boy. Having Alicia and the boss moping around is a drag for the whole squad. I hope for everyone's sake we can pull out of this funk real soon. Alicia, there you are. What's up? Look at this, Welkin. Guess what? I found some lion's paw growing while I was out on my walk. Here you go. Very sharp. Makes Aww. him look like a real gentleman. Uh, well, thank you. They said it was Baldio. Is it true? Afraid so. Then when I... When I walked through camp before, some of them got down on their knees, like they were worshipping me. Praise the Valkyria. The Godchild. They... They were... begging me to save Galia. Me. I mean, what am I supposed to say to that? Alicia, I... What kind of life can... can I live from now on? I wish I knew. Wow, I'm sorry. Guess that was pretty heavy. Here we are, right before the last battle, and I'm not helping things one little bit. Don't worry about me. Sergeant Alicia Melkiat, sir. Reporting. And ready for duty. My mind is focused on the mission. See you later, boss. Alicia. Yeah, like you're totally famous. <laughs> Don't say that. That's so stupid. I'm sorry.
<coughs> oh my god, I'm probably gonna get beat. I don't know why I keep coughing. Finally, man, you guys were in shock for three weeks and just going back to Brawl helped you get back on your feet. God damn it.